I'll be showing you how to download Sentinel images from Copernicus Data Space Ecosystem. So this is the uh, new website. So uh, from this website, they are providing the data sets. So and this is the latest one. So let me hit the search button. And you can see the first link, Copernicus Data Ecosystem, Europe Ice on Earth. So click in this link and proceed further. So I'll be also giving this uh, link in the description. You can just check it out. So we have just arrived in the home page. And now we just move on to the option, explore data and select data collections. After selecting data collections, you can see the option Sentinel datasets, Sentinel 1, 2, 3, and 5P. So here, let me select Sentinel 2. And hit the button, Explore Sentinel 2 data. So in order to download any uh, data from this website, we are going to provide the login uh, credentials so we need to create an account hit the button login so uh, if you don't have an account it's very simple and it is uh, you can just see here register and create an account for free in 60 seconds let me show you how it looks like so it uh, requires a ba uh, basic information uh, that is a uh, name email id password country type of user so for uh, you can just check in here you can select accordingly likewise the purpose which you are using for and finally hit the button register then uh, you'll be uh, sent a mail like this to verify the email address and confirm your registration after that you can directly log in and download the data sets so now let me log in Hit the button login. So now after logging in, you can see the option search, select search. And first of all, we need to select our area of interest. So there are a couple of options for that. You can directly search uh, the places uh, where you need. For example, here I need uh, Chennai. So I need to find Chennai. You can see the results has been come up. You can say, uh, select it and go to the particular location and here finally you can use this uh, option uh, mark a point of interest or uh, you can create an area of interest by using this button you can also upload a shape file so i'm going to uh, draw a polygon use the left click and you can comfortably draw a polygon like this and for finishing uh, use the left click once so it is done we have selected the area of interest and after that we are going to select the product so here you can see sentinel 1 2 3 and 5p which has been available so here i am going to select sentinel 2 and after sentinel uh, selecting sentinel 2 you can see the cloud curve percentage you can uh, select it accordingly for me i need it below 5 and after that we just go to the period for example here in the case i need it from uh, 2023 march till this month if you want you can also specify the hours minutes seconds sorry hours and minutes and let me choose the date So we have selected the date range starting to finish. You can also use uh, months for filtering. Now hit the button search. So it may take a uh, minute or so. You can see the uh, 
information about this uh, polygon so you can see the uh, square kilometers yeah the data has been loaded so i have got three results let me go to, uh, once again uh, go to search yeah <laughs> i have i have made a mistake over here march month so we need to specify the date i didn't uh, see that so now hit the button search so that's why i'm thinking oh, just three results has been just come up so now you can see here around 18 results are there and you can uh, check in the images for example you can just see over here it's having some cloud coverage or you can just uh, use the i button in order to view the image you can just see the view image how it is cloudy so i'm going to pick up a image which is uh, less cover less cloud cover and you can see this image is much more clearer and you can just see check in the uh, information about this product uh, you can see the cloud coverage ending start name processed by likewise instruments platform and finally hit the option download so you can see it has been started so six percentage of download has been completed so 88 percentage has been completed this is a very info important information previously we used to access this sentinel to uh, data from open access hub so you can see here uh, from the uh, uh, this website you can just check in over here copernicus open access hub is closing at the end of october month 2023 Copernicus Sentinel data are fully available in Copernicus data space ecosystem. So this is the website which we are downloading. So that is why I told you this is the latest video and they are going to close the open access hub. So please uh, do keep it in mind. So now the image is ready. Just asking me where to save it. Hit the button save. We have saved the image. So please do keep that in mind. So you can see the image. Let me show it to you in the folder. So this is the image which we have downloaded. Let me create a separate folder. Let me extract the file here. So let us open it and sh show you in QGIS. So go to the option layer and add layer, add raster layer. Hit this button for browse. Send in two. So let me add this band 2 to 4. So these are of uh, one resolution 10 meters. So that is why it has been given separately 20 meters separately and uh, 60 meters separately. So now let me add this uh, three bands. So you can just check in. We have successfully downloaded the Sentinel imagery. So if you have any other doubts on this, please do ask in the comment section. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day everyone.